is web controller. Web controller is super awesome, especially because at LiveX we'll set them up on a port forward so someone from outside the network can control vMix and it's very, very low latency. Um, so here you'll just configure what port you want. You'll get the internal IP address here. Um, if you're trying to get this from outside the network, you're going to need to know the public IP address or the external IP address, um, but you'll still use the same colon port number. Um, but this actual IP address will be different, but because I'm inside the network, I should be able to use it here. Um, so I'm just going to copy this over uh, so we can just take a look at it real quick. Um, so here's the shortcuts menu. Right now I haven't made any shortcuts, but when I'm creating a shortcut, I could let it show up here so I could basically have a whole panel of web shortcuts. Uh, shortcuts are great too, which we'll see in a minute. You can upload any custom thumbnail um, and stuff. So this is a really great way to be able to kind of build a cloud switcher, if you will, um, and you can control any shortcuts that you want assigned to this here. Um, this will give you a regular kind of interface similar to vMix or the vMix control surface where you'll have, um, you know, program up here, also referred to as output, uh, preview down here. Any of these inputs will show up. However, your input titles won't follow. So I don't really use this that often because you need to kind of memorize what positions certain inputs are in. So if you have a simple like three cam or something, then it's a lot easier. But if you have like things, a lot of graphics and a lot of moving parts, it can get confusing about what actually this is referring to. Um, but this is a great way you could bring overlays in, um, like this um, on any of the overlay channels uh, like that. So it's a it's a good thing if you need to like use a switcher. Sometimes um, we'll open this on our phone if we're like in a studio and we just want to be able to switch cameras to check them all at once without having to run back and forth to the switcher. Uh, so we'll just put this on their phone and use that kind of thing uh, as opposed to using it for like any actual production. Um, I was using the shortcuts here uh, when we were doing the Packers trivia. I had a lot of shortcuts here to make that easier, especially with turning audio on and off. Um, and it was really great because it's very, very fast. Um, by doing it this way, um, as opposed to even like a companion throughput or something like that. Um, over here, um, you can use your phone as a tally if you want to. So you'll just pick what input you want it to tally off of. And then when it's in program, you'll just make your browser a tally. So that's great if, if you don't have any tallies on hand, but you want to, you could just like have a phone set up uh, to this IP address um, and have it work as a tally. Um, and then here, which is pretty great, um, once I have a title input, I'll probably come back here and see it. Don't don't really forget that. Um, but uh, this will let you add title entries for any text field based graphic that you might have. So if you add a title, which we'll definitely look at in a minute, um, here you can have an outside producer add entries and I think even select titles that are broadcast as well. Um, so it's really great for like the red carpet scenario where you could have a producer with an iPad or something, ask people, hey, what's your name? Okay, blah, blah, blah. And you put the name in the title, uh, maybe have a hidden field for to say like what they're wearing or something. So then by the time in like 10 minutes when they get in front of cameras that the director can see, um, we already know have the correct spelling of their name that's done remotely. And then we'll just update here as long as they're on the same network. So that's a pretty cool uh, use for that. Um, we don't. We haven't had this situation to use it that much, but that's like a cool, like imagined scenario that you could use it for. Um, over here, you could also add a password um, for that. Um, so that we have a little bit more security um, but, and you could password protect only certain things if you want to here. Um, so yeah, that's for web controller. Uh, tally lights, um, we use a lot of meta sets here at LiveX or have in the past, I should say. They pretty much work, are pretty plug and play. They just have to get a network to them. So um, it comes with a device that plugs in USB and then that basically has a switch on it. And then any you, the switch has numbers on it. So you'll be like camera one, I'll plug it to one, two to two. And then it basically works automatically. Um, if you have like an Arduino thing that you have set up, you could come here and customize that a little bit. We normally don't have to. Um, and then again, this is another address here for web tally if you want to put tally on phones. And then yeah, pretty much we just plug in a Metasense and it just works kind of thing. <laughs>